Yo, Aguan, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to export your song in FL Studio 20. I'm gonna be showing you the exact settings that I use to export my songs to MP3 and WAV format. And you'll need to know how to do this if you want to upload your song to SoundCloud or Spotify or any distributor, basically. So this is very, very important information. Definitely stick through to the end. If you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com teaching you how to be better at music, online marketing and online business. And this is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving artists. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel because you will love it here. And my question of the day is where do you upload your songs? Are you uploading your songs to SoundCloud? Are you uploading your songs to Spotify? Let me know, maybe even YouTube. Let me know in the comment section down below okay let's get straight into this video so first i'll import my pre-master which will be in web format and then i'll bring it into here add my master in effects and then export it in mp3 and web format the reason i export in mp3 is so i can listen to it on my phone and the reason i export it in web is so i can upload it to my distributor and what have you and have it in high quality so I could play through this, but I don't think it's necessary. I'll give you a little, little snip here. Let's give you like 10 seconds. So crazy. Uh, let's come back there. Okay, that's enough. That's a little preview. Um, I'll leave a link to this song in the description when it's out. But let me show you quickly how to export this. So first you need to go to file, then to export. And then if you want to export it into a WAV file and an MP3, just go to WAV file here because you can export it into both an MP3 and a WAV file from this setting. So then you need to pick a place where you want it to be. So I'm going to pick my folder where I add everything. I'm going to call this test. And then here are the settings. Let me quickly walk you through them. Now, full song basically means it's going to render everything that is audible on your timeline. So because we've only got one track in here, it's not really that deep. We can just have it on full song. Otherwise, you might want to actually set a, like set, um, what's this called? A loop section, I guess set a selection of your song like so and then if you go to export uh why would you take me all the way back out here man respect me please respect me please now if you go to export you can click song selection and the song selection will basically use Thing, the thing that you've selected up here. In order to do that, you need to hold right click. I, I didn't tell you why I was doing that, now you know. So we're gonna go to song selection, I guess, cause we've selected it. But if you didn't select anything, then just leave it as full song and that'll be perfect. You don't wanna go to pattern cause that will only export the pattern and generally you don't, you don't wanna do that. Then tell, I usually leave remainder. If you cut it, then it will just cut as soon as your selection ends or as soon as the audio stops on your, I call this a timeline. Is this, is this called a timeline? I don't know, in your arrangement basically. So leave that as leave remainder. Then here, if you want an MP3, click this MP3 button here and this will basically be your options for the MP3 version. So for the web, you want to say at 24 bits, that is the highest bit rate you can get to actually upload it to streaming services and what 32 bit flow is generally too high. And like most services want 24 bit say it to stereo. So it has the full stereo field. And then if we get rid of MP3, can we edit this? We can still edit this if this is here. So basically just 
put these all the way to the top. If you got MP3, you want to get that MP3 bit rate, so 320 kbps. Get the flat compression is on level five. My flat bit rate depth is on 16 bit, but we can set that to 24 bit now. But we're not exporting a flat, so that doesn't really matter over here. We're only exporting WAVs and MP3. So 24 bit stereo MP3 bit rate to 320, and that's all good stuff. Now down here, at the quality, I've got my quality on 512 point sync at the very bottom. Then I've got high quality for all plugins. Disable maximum polyphony. I've got dithering turned on. And dithering's a whole thing, we can get into that, but it's super complicated. Just turn on dithering, like it's not gonna make that much of a difference. And down here, I've got trim PDC silence, which gets rid of silence added by latency and whatnot. I've got enable insert effects. You definitely want this on because it basically enables all the effects that you've got in your mixer. Enable master effects, which enables all the effects on your master channel. Save tempo information. So any analyzer like BPM analyzer, or if you bring it into another DAW, it can know what the tempo is. It basically takes the tempo information from the song that you've got up here. I don't know if this is actually supposed to be 140, to be honest, it might not be. I'm not sure if I actually changed that. So if you want to save tempo information, you should change the tempo of your project to the right tempo before doing so. Otherwise, when someone imports this song into a DAW or into a BPM analyzer, it's going to show them the wrong tempo. So keep that in mind. You can use this to upload it straight to SoundCloud. I do not use that. And then when you're ready, just click stop. And once this is done, I'll bring up the track so you can see that yes, this did work. And this is how you export a song from FL Studio to MP3 or WAV format. So basically you just wait for this to get to the end and I'll be right back. So the song has just exported. Now we just need to open it up to show that everything's working perfectly. Let's open up the web version. The MP3 version is generally exactly the same. It's just an MP3 format. So here is the web version opening up and now we can play it. This is called Great Cooking. So as you can see, songs exported, everything's perfect. And now we could just upload, I think you upload MP3s to SoundCloud, I'm not sure, but we can upload the web to our distributor and have that sent out to Spotify and all that sort of stuff. I will be making another video on digital distribution coming soon, so definitely check that out. But because you've made it this far in the video, I wanna give you a free gift. That gift is five of my best beats for absolutely free you're also getting basic licenses with them which cost 29.95 each so you're getting over a hundred dollars of free goods right about here and all you need to do is click on the link in the description or go to jcarterray.com forward slash free beats follow the instructions grab those free beats make some money off your songs upload them to spotify all that sort of stuff and you know now you know how to export your song and all that sort of stuff next stage uploading it to a digital distributor i'll show you how to do that in a future video i've already showed you how to do that for absolutely free but you know that process you do need to be accepted so i'm going to be showing you how to do it in a paid distributor coming very very soon so definitely stay tuned for that if you've got any other questions or any other tutorials you want me to make please let me know in the comment section down below and in the next video i'll be teaching you more about music online business and online marketing. I'll see you there. Peace out.